Hey guys, welcome to Dark Side of the Ring review, Terry Bam Bam Gordy. Once again, a very good show. You could feel his children's emotions. Only his son and one of his daughters was on. He has another daughter. Um, they both have wrestled. Um, unfortunately, he became addicted to drugs. In fact, there was a time when he was sitting on a plane next to a lady where he asked her if she had any extra because she was taking her medication. And she gave him pills. I wouldn't do that. Because if your pills are dangerous to someone who doesn't need them, like some of mine are, how are you not responsible if something happens for at the very least involuntary manslaughter? Anyway, they talked about his friendship with Michael Hayes, although they had to kind of gloss over it, because Michael Hayes, being a part of the WWE, and being a higher-up, is not allowed to be on the show since the uh, Plane Ride from Hell episode. <laughs> so, because none of them are. <clears throat> Mick Foley was there. Um, Terry Ray Jr. was there. Um, Miranda, his daughter, um, what else? Neither of his wives were there. Um, whoops, sorry. Um, They talked about Dr. Death doing CPR on him twice. They also showed clips from his shoot interview with RF Video, which enraged his family because he obviously was not cognitive enough to do the interview. It was after the last um, OD. I think there was a lack of oxygen to the brain which caused damage. His memory was also wiped out. So his nephew, Richard A. Slinger, who wrestled in Japan as Richard Slinger, had to reteach him how to wrestle. Um, you know, imagine the heartbreak of retraining the person who trained you. You know? Um, From what I gathered, aside from having a problem with addiction, he was a good man. He was a family man, absolutely adored his children. Um, and that was part of the reason he ended up on drugs, was missing his family so desperately and not wanting to think about it. Um, they were... Um, I'm sorry, I was looking at something the most important thing to him and it's awful and it's disgusting that RF video did that interview knowing his his cognitive situation and even if they didn't as soon as they realized it it should have been ended when they realized he didn't remember anything and he just he wasn't communicating with them they should have ended it and, and never sold it. That's just my opinion. Um, they have been slammed for other shoot interviews that they've done uh, in the same way, you know, guys that weren't with it. Uh, one that they did with the Iron Sheik when he was um, working to come off drugs, but was still cognitively not there. Um, there have been a few. And I think it's a shame that they do that. I wonder if y'all ever do a Dark Side of the Ring on Roddy Piper. So, 
Once again, it was an Wraith says an A. Um, I thought it was very well done. It was very respectful. You could see the pain in his children. Uh, he was only 40 when he died. You know, in 2001. <sighs> Evidently, they didn't have any footage of Michael Hayes or of Buddy Roberts talking about Terry or talking about his death. Because um, they didn't show it if they did. Uh, which is unfortunate. But Michael, as I mentioned, couldn't be a part of it. Um, and Buddy passed away in 2012. So you would think of pneumonia related to lung cancer. Or pneumonia. I think he was still on treatment for the lung cancer. And he got pneumonia and his body couldn't fight it. It didn't help that he was 65. Um, uh, not lung cancer, I'm sorry. Throat cancer. Throat cancer. Um, so I don't know if maybe there never was a shoot interview with him or, um, and there certainly hasn't been with Michael because he still works, as I mentioned, for the WWE. Um, but there has to be something somewhere of Michael talking about Terry. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I think when Michael and Buddy hosted the tag team, the World's Greatest Tag Teams uh, DVD for WWE, I think they talked about their brother Bam Bam. Um, so... But again, it's a WWE production, so they wouldn't have access to it. That sucks, because you miss part of the story. You really do, without them there. I mean, Kevin Von Erich was there. That's nice. Um, but unfortunately, you miss part of the story, especially since part of the story um, is passed away was murdered. <laughs> Bruiser Brody, Chris Adams, all the guys that were in world class with them, the rest of the Von Erics are all dead. Chris Adams was murdered, Bruiser Brody was murdered, but Chris Adams we'll get into later in the season. Um, I think if I had to guess, Sandman is probably, no, he's not going to be the finale. Um, this other wrestler that I know nothing about is going to be the finale, if I remember correctly. Um, next week, we'll be Saving Face, the Brutus the Barber Beefcake story. The reason it's called that is because there was a horrible accident. He was out on a boat. People were parasailing. And one of his friends went to come back onto the boat and was hit by the wind or something, came in and their knees hit him in the face and broke every bone in his face. Hours and hours and hours of reconstructive surgery. Um, for a while, he had to wear a mask to protect his face when he first got back in the ring. Um, so... And they're also going to focus on his decades-long relationship with Hulk Hogan. Um, <coughs> oh. So, that will be interesting. And my food is burning. <laughs> oh! off. Oh, that looks good. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> um, so, anyway. 
Oh, oh, oh. Um, that's my pizza from the last video. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna edit. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, all my best to Bam Bam's family. Um, I think it is a shame and a half that my phone was talking about being at a wrestling event, an independent show, and Terry Gordy was taking pictures while his daughter was taking Polaroids of him with fans and stuff. And it is a shame and a half that... Ugh, that Only like three people went to see him. I think part of that was not knowing who he was, you know? I don't think the young kids at the independent show would have known. Uh-oh. Oh, let's pull that. Let's grab these carefully. Hot. Hot. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, anyway. So I think that's part of it. But Mick Foley's like, I wanted to say, he's the legend, go over there. And, and that was so sweet. And that's Mick, you know. Um, but anyway, I'm going to let you go. God bless you. God bless his, his family, his children. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Please check out the other channel. Um, we had a bonus video yesterday and a new video today. Um... Please subscribe to both channels and hit those bells. We're trying to get to 500 on the main channel and to 200 on this channel by Memorial Day. Bye, guys. God bless you.